Here we have the Raspberry Pi battery pack circuit uh, showing the uh, solder traces on the uh, uh, back side of the board and the front side showing the uh, silk screen. Very small number of components to solder in. Uh, it gives the, uh, the polarity for the LED and the polarity for the, the uh, capacitor there, the plus uh, showing there by the anode of the capacitors. And then, of course, you've got the voltage input and the 5 volt, which is a fixed regulated 5 volt output. That's really the circuit board before we solder in all the components. Just a quick look at the uh, Pi Pack kit. Now, uh, in here, I've got uh, the prototype board for it, but you can see here I've bolted the. Uh, a very very small heatsink. You can actually squeeze one. Of, you'll be getting one of these tins, by the way, when you get when you get this uh, kit. But uh, you can, if you're lucky, you know, you can cut up. I've used a small from an old uh, computer PC, an old uh, heatsink there from the main CPU. I just clip that off and used one of those and just cut that up there. But uh, actually, you know, for the for the amount of power that this dissipates, you you probably won't even need a heatsink but I've just put it on anyway because I could you know the other uh, thing about the uh, what I've done with this uh, pipe out obviously uh, I want to be able to use something that's standard so I've uh, I used a USB socket so with the USB socket you can then get a normal USB lead uh, mail to mail and then you can use that and as, I sh as I've shown in my earlier video when I was talking about the uh, how this how the circuit works I just showed an example of it running a a um, a Raspberry Pi and uh, so what you want to do is drill the hole as I've shown how to drill the holes in these drill a hole here and then then file out the hole so it's the right shape for one of these uh, USB sockets then you can place a USB socket in here and that makes it really easy because then of course you can just have this wrapped around as I explained in the the theory part is wrapped around there plugged in and then the the green light will come on when that's just to show you it's working when you plug that in the green light there indicates that it's actually on so that when you pull it off so that you know you don't leave it on by accident all that's there is just to tell you that the thing's on so uh, and then you pull it off and the green light's off. So whilst that's on, you're generating your, uh, I can't remember what it is, 4.84, about 4.85 volt constant. So it's a regulator. So uh, your regulated 4.85 volts comes from that. And that's sufficient to run your uh, Raspberry Pi. And if, like I say, if you use, uh, I'm using these here, but if you use uh, end loop batteries, these end loop batteries in here, that that can get, that easily give you three hours of use on a Raspberry Pi. So uh, again, you'll get these. So uh, when you get this, you'll want to instead of uh, using that, you you'll you can put your uh, your USB socket inside here. Very easy to connect that in. Uh, and uh, so that's that's it really. That's sort of how you construct to put that in a tin. I I put it in one of these tins, but. Uh, you will get this with your with your kit and that's it really